people maybe go through life without really noticing all of the things that go around them and as course fours we are very aware of the world around us and I think we learn from it and think of how we can make the world a better place. The magical thing about course four is it really teaches you how to take your creativity and your design ideas and then translate them into physical realities that are spatial, occupiable, inhabitable, and have a kind of powerful cultural resonance. I think that all of these different interests come together in the studio environment. That's really where all of our different ideas really get to take form. Just about all our studios have a lot of freedom in our ability to design our own projects and really take our own ideas as far as we can. You see other people's projects and you're like, oh, how did they come up with that? And like, how does that mind come up with something that cool? It's a costume for the Galactic Olympics. It's basically supposed to connect every part of your body. <laughs> the goal is to develop new structural systems using small diameter round timber. We're currently on the site of the Collier Memorial, a structure that is being built in Sean Collier's honor. The basic concept of the project is that it stands as a long-lasting monument that speaks to the strength of our community, and we designed it to work in compression as a series of stones held in place only by gravity. As an undergrad, we're only used to seeing like these small models, <laughs> but they're actually blowing it up into a real scale where people can actually pass by and inhabit the space. It's just unbelievable. I specifically really liked the experience of design reviews, going in front of a group of people and having to present your work, and understanding that that's just part of the process and it can get better and you can build. Course 4 gave me the opportunity to work in a professional environment and work alongside extremely talented and motivated people. You work so close with faculty, you talk so much with uh, professors, you learn something you can never learn from just taking a class. Like, professors learn from you. You learn from professors. There are civil engineers, and there are mechanical engineers, and there are material scientists and architecture majors, and everyone plays a role. It makes a lot more sense because architecture is a lot more interdisciplinary than a lot of people expect. So cool to get to work with designers and engineers at the same time, and I think that really validates the work. One of the things that I really liked about MIT was that I was exposed to all different types of fields. It's really a great cross-pollination of disciplines that I think led to what I do now. Course 4 brings together architects, designers, artists, historians, and engineers around ideas and concepts to transform how we imagine and construct our environments. I've always thought that the architecture department teaches you how to solve problems and it's a way of thinking that lets you approach the unknown. There's an incredible amount of support. It's almost like an expectation that you can immediately try to make an impact. I think that's the really exciting part is that there's really, it's not just about kind of working abstractly, it's really about immediately applying what you're learning to try to make the world a better place. Mm -hmm.